वंदे वंदे गुरुपद द्वंदम भक्त बिंदु समन्वित श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरण दय गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदन मनोहर वाछा कल्पतरु वैश्य कृपा सिंधु बेवच पतितान पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुखम करोति वाचाल पंगु लंघयति गिरी यत्कृपातमहंग वंदे परमानंदमाधव बृंदाव तुलसीदेव वै पिया वै केशव सच कृष्णभक्तिपदे देवी सत्तवत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरंच नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मदीर संकीर्तन कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरी पत्र प्रकाशने सदाक्त गुरु भक्ति जुक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर ध्येय सदा परिभवग्नमीष्टोहम तीर्थास्पद शिव विरचनुत शरण्यम भेतात्म पुनुतपाल भवादीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुनाविंद यत्दपल्लवन कचंदमि छटा विस्फुर्जीत किमी कपवधूषदर्श पूर्णागर सुसागर सारूर्ति सारादि कामयि कदा कृपा करोष श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निंद श्रीअदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निंद श्रीअदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्तबिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुजो कनका बदा तो संकीर्तन कपितर कमलायताक्ष विशाबरु द्विजरु जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करु करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बदा तो संकीर्तन कपितर कमलायताक्ष विशाबरु द्विजरु जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणा भतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमा गंगे तब पाद पंकज सुरासुरवित दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति ददा सी नि 
ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನು ಸದಾ ನರಹಣ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯಜಟಕಲಪ ಗೌರೀಂತರಭಿಭೂಷಿತಾಮಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಾಜುಷ್ಯುಭದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಶ್ಚಕ್ಷಿ ಜಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತೆ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀತ್ ಶಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ತದೀಯ ಪದ ಪಂಕಜ ಪಂಜರಾಂತ ಅದೈವಿಶತು ಮೇ ಮನಸೋ ರಾಜಹಂಸ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಪ್ರಯಾಣ ಸಮಯ ಕಾಪಾತ್ ಪೃಥ್ವೈ ಕಂಠಾವರೋಧನ ವಿಧೌ ಭಜನ ಕುಧಸ್ತೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ತದೀಯ ಪದ ಪಂಕಜ ಪಂಜನಾಂತ ಅದೈವಿಶತು ಮೇ ಮನ್ ಮನುಷೋ ರಾಜಹಂಸ ಪ್ರಾಣ ಪ್ರಯಾಣ ಸಮಯ ಕಾಪಾತ್ ಪೃಥ್ವೈ ಕಂಠಾವರೋಧನ ವಿಧೌ ಭಜನ ಕುತೋಸ್ತೆ ಭಜನ ಕುತೋಸ್ತೆ ಗೌರಿಯ ಗೋಷ್ಠಿಪತಿ ಗೌರಿಯ ಗೋಷ್ಠಿಪತಿ ಶ್ರೀಶಿಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ ಪರಮಂಸ್ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಶನ್ ವಿ ಹೀಸ್ ಪುಟಿಂಗ್ ಹೀಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಹೀಸ್ ಪುಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು in whatever condition he is putting us into in that situation only i will be there i just need to remain happy in that condition kodiya gostipati shishila bhakti siddhant saraswati goswami thakur prabhupad paramhansh jagat guru told that bhagwan in whatever condition and situation he is putting us into he is think we thinking that okay it is it is it is definitely good for you bhagwan thinking definitely you think that because that all mangalmay bhagwan each and every condition of bhagwan that is mangalmay each and every condition of bhagwan each and every situation is all mangalmay that mangalmay condition whatever situation is creating in the situation created by that mangal mai vastu that kind of unsatisfaction cannot come at all that top most merciful bhagwan it is all for the best that bhagwan whatever he has done whatever he will do it is all for our mangal all for our best everything is for our mangal but in order to get it in realization it is not at all possible just by the by the uh, effect of maya prabhupad speaking that now just in order to see the mercy of bhagwan that kind of uh, that kind of uh, instruction just by seeing that the we can see we, we just need to see the actual mercy of lord that in that only we can get the actual mangal bhagwan when in whatever condition and in what situation he is putting it into that he is putting it into a particular jiva that jiva should be satisfied without any kind of uh, unsatisfaction inside his heart without any any kind of uh, uh, questioning or logical arguments he couldn't think that why he has put into this situation why he has come in this situation in that particular situation he just can't blame bhagwan in that condition or whether he can't speak bhagwan uh, 
uh, the glories of Bhagwan by putting him in this condition. You can't do that. Bhagwan, whatever condition he is putting us into, every behavior is actually mangalmay for me. Whatever Bhagwan is uh, doing for me, but we are actually so foolish that that the Maya Shakti of Bhagwan, when it is actually glorifying us, different different kind of position she is giving, then we are getting anand. But when Maya Devi actually just kicking us and we are putting us in big problem, at that time we are thinking that we are actually uh, getting lot of unhappiness that we are not at all accepting it from the uh, from our heart inside our heart this point maya devi this kind of uh, punishment given to us the, about which actually in brahm samhita it is written that Bhagwan, that by Maya, Bhagwan, what kind of uh, punishment is giving us? This we are not at all liking it. It is. It looks like very bad to us. That condition, when we are put it into bad condition, when you are seeing it in a very uh, positive condition, you don't have this finding this kind of. Uh, uh, power to find it in a positive way. This shloka, in this Mahabrabhu actually speaking, our Bhaktivinoda Thakur has just uh, given a commentary inside that in-depth uh, uh, analysis of the commentary of each and every word of this. In this situation, up to uh, to get up to this situation, to elevate up to this platform, only uh, Hari Bhajan is possible then, otherwise not. And when? Rag, Rag Varma Chandrikan, when we are discussing it, at that time Mahaprabhu, the actual Shikshashtakam, the actual last lok of uh, Shikshashtakam. This we need to understand very uh, carefully. Mahaprabhu who is Swayam Bhagwan, but still, he is having that Gopi Bhav. Mahaprabhu actually speaking to us. That Bhagwan, she should embrace us, and Bhagwan should, or either he is actually throwing us in this whatever condition he is putting us into. It is all actually anukul. We are actually accepting that. We just need to bear that whatever condition he is putting us into. So all those material amangal unhappiness, we are actually thinking the actual mercy of Bhagwan. Who are not at all understanding it as a mercy. For those jivas, for those persons, that uh, maybe again and again they will be just coming into this material world and they are just getting the material happiness in their life. They are busy in that, and in the and at the last, they are actually just uh, uh, they will lose themselves, and at that last they are becoming so much uh, loser. Number one, they become, and by their own support, their their all kind of efforts become go in vain. So it is very much important to understand this point that whatever is doing done in our life or whatever is done in our life or whatever is done in our life and what will be done in future in our life, everything is Bhagavad Gita, all done by the grace of Bhagavan, mercy of Bhagavan. So whatever kind of problems are coming in your life, we just need to, with full patience, we just need to and get the Bhagavad mercy, we have to get that, we have to bear that. Otherwise, there is no other pathway open for us to get out of this material bondage. So, so we, in a, by just getting established in bhakti, that inside of our heart, when bhakti is there, that when we are established in pure bhakti, automatically, in order to protect us, 
that kind of uh, uh, maintenance of ours it will not at all there at all that's why bhakti vinod thakur actually speaking bhakti vinod thakur in kirtan already done no this kirtan bhakti vinod thakur has done kirtan in this nijero poshon kobuna chintibo rohibo bhavero ghare This already done. Uh, Bhakti Nath Tagore doing kirtan regarding this. Uh, it means that whatever is there in our life, it is for in order to just uh, maintain our life and doing our maintenance. When we have bhakti inside our heart, then this kind of tension is not at all coming. That by karma fall automatically when you are something you are feeling good something you are feeling ill it is automatically to uh, think like that but when you are uh, becoming good he is becoming actually for he is forgiving Krishna forgetting Krishna he is thinking that he has so much power and he is getting developing that false ego that he is get forgetting Krishna and he is thinking that oh uh, we have to do like this no at least we have to do like this because he is thinking that he has his own power. this is not at all good when he is actually good then he is actually becoming uh, away from krishna and while forgetting krishna at that time bhagwan that topmost sarmay karta bhagwan ka jo bhakt hai that the devotees of bhagwan they also nicha dekhne ka we are also seeing them at a very low level we are seeing all the devotees pure devotees of bhagwan at a very low level like prabhu is speaking that lot of lot of money if you are collecting lot of money if you are money you are collecting it is not our actual target of life prabhu is speaking this because by having this we will be we cannot uh, we cannot uh, respect the actual pure devotees of bhagwan and we will be just disrespecting them and we'll be ignoring the pure devotees of bhagwan at that time then in my life that bef- before what i have done in my life that two chapatis even is very difficult to get in my life i just forgot that and now i have got so much money in my bank account that i have just kicked guru vishnu about and i'm thinking that the guru vishnu var mad so this is the actual glorification of maya devi what to do guru vishnu guru vishnu in order to just accept guru vishnu uh, it is not at all possible in this condition when you are actually getting interested in uh, accepting lot of money then at that time you will be just disrespecting guru vishnu and this definitely gonna be there automatically it will be there that's why Shri Krishna is from all the four direction is making sure that's why Shri Krishna is making from all the four direction is making this kind of vichar that what kind of uh, condition Bhagwan has given to us whatever condition or situation he has put it into that if def- different different kind of uh, uh, good things and bad things what will happen in our life that sat and asat what is there in our luck that different different kinds of that problems. we just need to bhagwan is putting us into that in order to test our sharnagati that's why all the devotees pure devotees they are actually having the tatyanukampa susamikshaman this uh, that's why devotees all all the time they are actually busy in tatyanukampa vichar what is that tatyanukampa just understand this point very carefully by that way bhagwan is getting anand by that procedure that we can satisfy bhagwan that topmost with 100% we can satisfy bhagwan by that thing that kind of procedure is topmost procedure yes sabse acha that is a topmost procedure follow for this whatever kind of uh, uh, whatever kind of difficulties i have to face okay i will face that the topmost uh, uh, the in order to satisfy the transcendental sense organs of krishna it is only the actual adhikar of uh, bhagwan only krishna can enjoy with the sense organs we don't have this right to do 
in actual swarup bhagwan in order to satisfy his own sense organs with enjoying food that under the anugatya of brajavas is what kind of efforts we will be putting in that is called raganuga bhakti in order to satisfy transcendental sense organs of krishna if krishna will be in whatever any situation he is putting us into and is becoming happy then i am actually very happy because krishna is satisfied in that condition krishna in whatever condition is putting me into i i am thinking that positive and all the time i have to maintain in that condition only that kind of vritti should be there who is actually prajwasi someone actually asked prabhupada about this prabhupada actually answering that you see prajwasi is that who is all with all his sense organs by body speech and mind that by his all sense organs all the time he is busy to satisfy the transcendental sense organs of bhagwan and he is making all kind of efforts to satisfy bhagwan apart from this in their life there is no kind of any other desire is there to do apart from this only in the life of a brajwasi there is no other kind of desire inside his heart brajwasi is that who all the time have this kind of feeling each and every fraction of second he is thinking to satisfy the transcendental uh, uh, sense organs to satisfy bhagwan all the time all the time they are busy in that that is called brajwasi that is called brajwasi apart from that you cannot speak other as brajwasi that is actual symptom of brajwasi so this rag varma chandrika just by discussing it we are actually yesterday we were discussing on this point that uh, in this present kali yug sankirtan naam kirtan apart from that there is no other other sadhan available there is actually no other sadhan that is more prominent why because if in the bhakti marg why for each and if for every bhakti marg that naam sankirtan in every shastra gati it is the glorification of naam sankirtan is written there that's what i have told you previously that all in the whole of devotees uh, uh, sansar the actual topmost conclusion is this only this shloka apart from this the topmost each and every shastra has this kind of vichar and especially in this kaliyug that in the present kaliyug that kirtanang kirtanakya bhakti is the that is a topmost bhajan adhikar which you will get because for each and every bhakti mark in sarva shastra bhakti naam sankirtan bhagwan that is topmost they in order to just uh, manifest the maryada of this that krishna naam sankirtan is the topmost of all lekin but shila rup ko swami pad the what he has written ujwal nilmani uh, in ujwal nilmani it is written like two to four things are written we can see there by which we can understand says can be some misconception we can create what is this when you are doing shraddha yukta tapasya just by doing that that braj prem you can get just according to this kind of proof that that to do tapasya for in order to get prem that one kind of cause we can see but this is not like that but if the person can think in this way because in kalikal tapasya is not at all possible in this present kali yug tapasya that limb that limb of tapasya in order to get prem it is not at all possible that tapasya 
that vrat is the actual tapasya means ekadshi vrat to do ekadshi vras to do janmashtami etc all these vratas you are doing that is actually called tapasya which is related to krishna satisfaction that is called tapasya that is the nimitt karan that is the nimitt cause that is you just need to uh, take the fruit of that in your life that's why in the shriti shriti shastra about akadashi vrat in order to do upavas fasting that is uh, the actual uh, vidhi that uh, you are doing uh, fasting on ekadashi that is the actual vidhi and in the smriti shastra ekadashi etc on all those vrata in order to do upavas fasting that is actually for the satisfaction of govind that each and every kriya karma for bhajan vishnu smriti should be there all the time that is the actual th- thing what you have to get from bhajan so in the smriti shastra also ekadashi vrat etc in order that he is following that in nandi nakadashi he is doing upavas it means that he is uh, remembering govind this is the actual rules in of ekadashi and those that what kind of upadan karan that smarup that is swarup smaran that kind of uh, you will get that in order to satisfy bhagwan that all kind of smaran chintan of bhagwan that is the vital point to remember bhagwan at that time and that opposite uh, bhav you are getting that those who are not at all doing ekadashi vrat that they are not at all following ekadashi vrat what will happen that in skanda puran in skanda puran it is written that those who are not at all following ekadashi vrat they are not at all following the ekadashi vrat procedure in skanda puran it is written that those who are not at all doing ekadashi vrat at all they are not at all following the procedure of ekadashi then it is very dangerous condition for them what is the kind of condition they will get that uh, they can get the actual sinful activity of killing a guru what lot of uh, matri yatra pitri hatya pat guru hatya every kind of uh, it's written in, in skanda puran everything is written about the punishment what he'll get and uh, when it is already done by this definitely naam aparad will definitely get uh, inculcated inside your heart and the second point is that uh, vishnu dharmotra uh, that granth in that pravachan it's written about the brahm hatya kari those who are doing brahm hatya that guru talpagami dharma shastal those are not at all following shastra and those who are doing praschit rectification according to the shastra it's already written there in in vishnu dharmotra that these kind of brahmat atyakari surapari people that those who are guru talpakari that who are disrespecting guru and those who are just kidnapping guru dev and according to the dharma shastra different different kind of rectification of processes are there according to dharma shastra because in ekadashi just by taking a, a rice and grains prasadam it there is no rectification process regarding this on ekadashi if you are actually taking some uh, rice or grains then definitely there is no rectification in the shastras uh, regarding that so just by hearing all this kind of uh, 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 for this rectification ekadashi etc vrat we just need definitely have to follow those ekadashi under guidance of pure guru vishnu we have to follow without any fail we have to follow that definitely you have to follow ekadashi it means that that definitely you have to uh, follow it nitya i don't want to speak more what i have to speak more in this case that is param apa that param anand that param anand situation means that uh, by just getting param anand inside your heart that person who is uh, uh, doing ekadashi who is not at all quitting ekadashi vrag that person for them only this kind of vaishnavi diksha is possible and it will become successful for them for those persons who are in whatever condition they are put it into they are actually speaking that ekadashi is not all possible now i will leave that 
दे आर एक्चुअली डोंट आर एलिजिबल टू डू हरी भजन एट ऑल एट द टाइम ऑफ गेटिंग पर हम अनंत दोस्त पर्सन हु आर जस्ट नॉट एट ऑल लिविंग एकादशी प्रति इन वॉट एवर सिचुएशन दे आर वोटेड इन टू फॉर दैम दैट वैष्णव विचार इज एप्लीकेबल फॉर दैम अदरवाइज इट इज नॉट ऑल एप्लीकेबल एकादशी ही इज डन और समटाइम्स इज नॉट डूइंग एंड वैन नाम ही इज एक्चुअली विशिंग टू डू एंड समटाइम्स वैन नॉट विशिंग इज नॉट डूइंग Uh, he is doing uh, kirtan and sometimes he is not doing kirtan so like this so they don't have any adhikar in vaishnav uh, etiquette and those who have just uh, take given every kind of karma and duties onto lotus feet of vishnu that is the actual vaishnav those people those persons who for bhagwan each and everything he has given bole means jo vyakti those persons samast karmo that who has just surrendered all his uh, material duties or other duties onto the lotus feet of krishna already surrendered onto that that is actually called a vaishnav skanda puran in skanda puran in skanda puran vachan we can see this point that ekadashi that by by ekadashi vrat that uh, vaishnav archan In Skanda Puran, there is actually one point that by a Kadashi Vrat, during that Vaishnav Lakshan, symptom of Vaishnav is actually instructed there, and lot of things are there that in Sri Bhagwan, though whatever you haven't offered anything to Bhagwan, that kind of bhojan, that kind of prasadam is Maya prasadam, and it is strictly prohibited for Vaishnavs. So the thing which is not at all offered to Krishna, that kind of thing, when you are taking. that is strictly prohibited for vaishnav to take vaishnav if galti uh, se just by uh, if vaishnav if by mistake he is actually taking some on the ekadashi day he is actually taking some kind of prasadam then definitely he don't need to do ekadashi that day next day he has to do a uh, fasting so this actually what is actually not good for vaishnav if the vaishnav with the, if uh, mistakenly on ekadashi he is taking prasadam then what he is actually taking prasadam he apart from mahaprasad is not taking anything that's why that is why this we have to understand like this that vaishnav on ekadashi day if he has done some kind of prasadam taken then mistakenly then for his next day If he has done mistakenly next day, he just need to fast on next day. That is the actual rules. So by this, in the ekadshi time, just by taking mahaprasad, prasadam also is actually strictly prohibited on ekadshi days. Why? Because Vaishnav is actually just taking some kind of prasadam and he will be taking mahaprasadam only in ekadshi. It means that on ekadshi days. that mahaprasadam also you just need to respect it and you have to just keep it separate like shri man mahaprabhu ji has done on the ekadashi day lot of mahaprasadam used to come and mahaprabhu actually speaking to govin that you just need to respect the prasadam and just keep it separately tomorrow at the time of power we will be taking all the prasadam this the as actual instructions of mahaprabhu so like this uh, kartik vrat that damodar kartik vrat in this also lot of rules and restrictions are there you don't need to take this you don't need to do that don't do that no lot of nishad is there vidhi is there and nishad is there so lot of things are there you need to follow and in the actual uh, ansh of tapasya that will become a nitya karan and shravan kirtan smaran are the vital things which you need to do if you will be just thinking on these three points shravan kirtan smaran that is upadan karan and whatever the other things are they are actually the tapasya karan you are doing tapasya uh, but the upadan karan is to just uh, smaranam kirtanam shravanam these are the three major important shila uh, rup goswami pa speaking that ujjo devi ujeshwari shrimati radha rani and kartik vrat ka isa naam that uh, uh, kind of name is just getting this manifest described that uh, shri vrinda maneshwari under the guidance of shri vrindavaneshwari that shrimati radha rani is a lotus feet only in order to get the lotus feet of radha rani that is the actual goal of kartik vrat you just need to understand this or 
and it is already written like that also that that ambarish that ambarish maharaj she lari guru go swami pad just put put on this point in front of us from the shastra from shrimad bhagavatam he has just put this bachan in front of us she lari go swami pad that ambarish you are actually from the sukhdev go swami that top most shrimad bhagavatam all the time you are just hearing it you hear it from shila parikshit maharaj from sukhdev go swami what uh, actually is actually the pravachan uh, done of, of shrimad bhagavatam by sukhdev go swami you just need to hear that if that kind of smriti vacha smriti by this smriti by this remembrance of the shastra jiv go swami pad actually just uh, taking this point from the smriti shastra and uh, by this kind of remembrance by doing this kind of remembrance of krishna naam and uh, that even mahapuran shravan it will become nitya kritya vastu for us that this nitya kritya vastu vichar will come that all the time nitya you have to do shravan hear that because shriti vachan is just uh, cup in front of us and amrish maharaj actually speaking here to sukhdev what go sukhdev go swami has told this shrimad bhagavat mahapuran to him you just need to hear that from him that kind of smriti vachan you just need to hear that shrimad bhagavat ji mahapuran is uh, to hear that all the time permanently that is a nitya kritya karma of your duty of yours to hear shrimad bhagavatam all the time in each and every place one by one i'll be just putting up the shlok and i'll be just giving you practical proof shila vishnu jagradeep pad actually just making it possible for us to understand here one kind of vichar is there that in front of in front of you that all the kind of mahajans or mahapurush this kind of uh, uh, katha kirtan i have done after that that uh, in order to just uh, destroy the nitya amangal that kind of uh, krit bhagavat shri krishna vishuddh shri krishna vishuddh bhakti when those persons who can take that those who are eligible to take that shri krishna vishuddh bhakti if he will be just uh, taking the shravan of the bhagavatam under guidance of guru vishnu then it definitely they want to get successful in the 10th canto of shrimad bhagavatam that one ukti is there that in the 10th canto there is one ukti they are actually shri krishna speaking This already written in Bhagavati Mahapuran. This sloka is from Bhagavati Mahapuran, and just by picking it up, it actually is speaking that Bhagwan, the actual qualities of Bhagwan, the actual transcendental qualities of Bhagwan. By this, if we will be just putting it, but that Hari Katha Kirtan of Bhagwan is putting in front that those who are destroying the. nitya mangal and who is actually just taking the charam mangal that kind of nitya mangal you just need to get it away and param mangal to get the uh, krishna lotus feet that is should be the target that if you are if you have bhakti onto lotus feet of shri krishna that bhakti is there onto lotus feet of krishna then you will you do like that only Lot of uh, which are are there like like this. Yesterday I was actually discussing this point that prajvasis that kind of they already are acting as tablet in prakashya bhav that bhakti is there in the nitya stage. so this this kind of uh, anikul and pratikul avirudh a lot of uh, rules and regulations are there this kind of vichar is there and uh, it means that uh, in ishta vishtu you are getting a natural attraction and param anurag that natural anurag you are getting that kind of param avishtata towards krishna that is called rag and that ragmay bhakti which we can see in prajavasi is particularly that is raganuga bhakti About this, we will be discussing it. And Sri Lajiv Goswami Bad. In Durgam Sangmi Tika, Sri Lajiv Goswami Bad writing. 
विषय सारस की शवाबिकी परमाविष्टता दश्या हेतु प्रेममयो त्रिश्नेति अर्थो शारागो भवित अर्थात सानुकुल्ले शानुकुल्ले विषयक वस्तुते वस्तु में जो शवाबिकी that kind of uh, natural aversion inclination is towards towards that uh, premay uh, Krishna we are having that inclination. So lot of things are there regarding this. That the Shastra Vichar is there. So this kind of Ragmi pathway, that Bhakti Ragatmika Bhakti, that Kam Rupa and Sambandh Rupa. I have already told this kind of Vichar previously. And Kam Rupa, this actually already there under in the Braj Gopikas and Braj Vasis. That Kam Rupa Bhakti is all the time present. And in Kam Rupa Bhakti also, Sambandh Vishesh, relationship indication when it is there definitely is kam rupa bhakti but if that kind of particular sambandh it is there then this will kam rupa bhakti inside that kam rupa rupi bhakti that special kind of sambandh if it is there then definitely the actual kam is indicated here but there actually kam what is indication in kamanuga bhakti if relationship is there then it will become this relationship it is not at all important but calm is more important in that case so in order to satisfy the sense organs of krishna it is more much important so that's why externally that calm is actually present externally it, it looks like that this material that this material world kama is there but it is not at all material lust it is a prakrit calm in Kamanuga Bhakti, that if Sambandh Vishes is there for a little time, that relationship, it is not actually the Pradhanya, that is not at all the Pradhanya Suchi. Why? Because in this, this Kama, this, in this Kama, it only to satisfy the transcendental organs of Krishna. That's why externally you can see that it is very dirty. It is, it, it is like you just throw it, they just like a calm, material calm, it, the transcendental karma looks like, but still, this is topmost. That's why, externally, you can see that karma is there, but here, the, there is a difference between the material karma and uh, the transcendental karma, because it is actually for the satisfaction of uh, transcendental sense organs of Krishna. That's why. In Chaitanya Chaitamrit, it is written there. That Prem is there, which is there in the life of Kopikas. That externally, by seeing that, it looks like it is calm, but it is not at all transcendental calm, it is material karma. It, sorry, it's not like material calm, it's transcendental karma. Uddhav Ji Maharaj speaking to Brahma Brahma Ji is also shloka is there that I just want to become one kind of flower in Vrindavan I just want to take one dust particle in this Vrindavan this is the actual prayer of Brahma also here Brahma Ji also actually just uh, speaking to Bhagwan and praying to him. Uddhav Ji Maharaj also. Uddhav Adi means Brahma is also praying to Bhagwan. So that is the actual prayer of uh, Brahma. Uddhav he is just going to Vrindavan and there he is speaking. It means that we are that same uh, Braj Ramani. We will be taking the lotus feet of the Braj Ramani and I want to just glorify them who have that Hari Katha, Hari Kirtan uh, singing and glorification, they want to just purify that. That is the actual uh, prayer of Uddhav. This, uh, this Kamrupa Bhakti, 
दैट टॉप मोस्ट अमृत नेक्टर एंड आफ्टर दैट उत्तर जी महाराज फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवत जी महापुराण स्पीकिंग उद्धव जी महाराज स्पीकिंग दिस लेकिन बट दैट दो ब्रज सुंदरी इज अकॉर्डिंग टू देम लाइक ब्रज गोपिका दैट काइंड ऑफ विशुद्ध प्रेमा इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इट इज नॉट एट ऑल अवेलेबल एट ऑल यू कैनॉट फाइंड दैट इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड एनी वेयर यू कॉन्ट फाइंड दैट दैट द एक्चुअल प्रेम ऑफ ब्रज गोपिका दैट काइंड ऑफ प्रेमा इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल टू गेट बिकॉज then why then that khubja you can find that in very fine form you can see that kind of kaam kaam anubha that kaam praya it means it's just like a some sambhog ichha like desire to to sambhog with krishna for his own personal enjoyment is also there for khubja uh, etc is there definitely it's good to discuss this point samanja sarathi samartharati where actually i'll i speak i'm just feeling shy just by speaking all this so whatever be the case so all those pandit gan all those shastras shastra gan they are actually speaking each and every place this kind which looks like kama but it looks like kama in this that is kam praya that is that that kind of sambhog ichha enjoy enjoying mood of his personal enjoying mood is also there lekin but just he she has done service of krishna and according to that she is also speaking that he will definitely gonna uh, make his desire fulfilled so that this kind of kam praya this word that's why this word is used kam praya that's why in this there is one point very secret point that khubja actually has that kind of personal enjoyment to get that from krishna but at the same time she is actually just giving one enjoyment to krishna this is not at all uh, against that means krishna should also get some enjoyment but still his own enjoy personal enjoyment she also want so that sukh abhilash rati it is not at all completely against that okay still it is okay but it is not completely against that it is not at all 100% anukul but is not at all 100% pratikul also it is in between so whatever be the case so the rati of khubja that's why kaam praya rati actually it is spoken here that sadharani rati samanjasa rati and samartha rati these three types of rati are sadharani rati this sadharani rati in this it is coming in the form of sadharani rati sadharani rati it is coming in that form khubja 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 rati and samartha rati there is actually lot of power is there in samartha rati that you can't even imagine that sambandh in sambandh anuga bhakti in shri govind that with govind that kind of pritya abhiman that i am actually the father of govind i am the i am the mother of go krishna i am the actual uh, the sakha friend of krishna that in sambandh rupa bhakti that towards govind that kind of uh, uh, ego towards krishna that i am the servant of govind i am the friend i am the servant of krishna so this kind of relationship of uh, that ego is there so that is called sambandha rupa bhakti by just having this kind of relationship there is actually definitely relationship is with bhagwan only so you see the arrangement of bhagwan sambandha matre means that with a god with the relationship all those rishi gan in in this uh, in this uh, in this vakya they are speaking that in with sambandh by taking sambandh all those rishis are doing uh, uh, the kirtan of uh, naam sankirtan of kirtan all those rishi gan krishi manshi they are actually having slight relationship one smell of relationship is uh, attached to uh, bhagwan especially some kind of uh, relationship is just attached with the other bhagwan shri krishna that's why in regarding to that we can understand that yadu vanshi that vrishi vanshi they are actually vrishi vanshi that in the relationship with bhagwan they are vrishi vanshi vanshi 
दो याद पंची राग आदमी का भक्ति काम रूपा संबंध रूपा आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू संबंध रूपा भेद एंड काम रागनु का भेद सो जस्ट बैकिंग दिस डिफरेंस रागनु का भक्ति इट्स लाइक दैट कामनु का एंड संबंध रूपा रागात्मा की रागात्मी का इज देयर इन ब्रजवासी दैट्स व्हाई रागात्मी का भक्ति इफ इट इज बिकमिंग काम रूपा एंड संबंध रूपा इट कैन बी कैटेगराइज्ड इन टू पाई टॉप टाइप्स एंड अंडर द अनुगट्टी ऑफ दैट रागानु का भक्ति नेचुरली इज कैन काम रूपा एंड संबंध रूपा एंड कामानुगा एंड संबंध अनुगा दिस इज एक्चुअली कैटेगराइज मोर इन टू टाइप्स द ब्रजवास इज इन साइड दैम दैट भाव काइंड ऑफ ग्रीडीनेस दे वॉन्ट टू टेक दैट इज इन ऑर्डर टू गेट दैट दैट इज द एक्चुअल अधिकार ऑफ रागानु का भक्ति सो इन चेतन चेताम रेट इज रिटर्न प्रियताम यदि कुतो पिला पति तत्र लोल्ल मोपि मुल्ल मेकलम जन्म कुटि सुकृति रोय सुकृतोयर नलप ये बात महाप्रभु दिस दिस महाप्रभु हैज ऑलरेडी टोल्ड अ वे बैक दिस पॉइंट एंड विद फुल आचरण एंड एटिकेसी दैट विद रागानु का भक्ति दिस ऑल काइंड ऑफ प्रूफ्स महाप्रभु हैज गिवन अस इट मीन्स दैट मिलियंस ऑफ मिलियंस ऑफ बर्थ्स इन द मिलियंस ऑफ बर्थ्स ऑल्सो दैट इन मिलियंस एंड मिलियंस ऑफ बर्थ्स दैट थिंग विच इज ऑब्जेक्ट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू गेट इन द मिलियंस ऑफ बर्थ दैट काइंड ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू गेट इट मीन्स that kind of greediness that that greediness that lot of greediness is there that kind of uh, topmost uh, valuable thing it can only be possible it means that krishna sevaras that full bhavana mai that topmost vigre if it is there in the inside the heart of some devotee if we can find then that kind of greediness lolya that lobh by greediness automatically that lalasa to get that particular object definitely he will be associating with that particular object why because that is a topmost valuable uh, treasure for him sadhan bhakti for that that in vidhi in vidhi bhakti in that is shraddha mulak or in this is just a gradual gradually he is actually moving ahead by after asakti there is bhav and after that there is prem bhakti and there is sadhan bhakti sadhan bhakti the in in order to have that rag parijay when that uh, sadhan bhakti is that level when sadhan bhakti is going up to that stage that it is just getting converted into rag it is going to the rag rag stage then it is called raganuga bhakti that is called full of greediness full of lobh that greediness this is very much rare to get so that's why shila rup goswami pad actually speaking you just need to hear from the lotus might of guru guru pad padma shri padma puran shri mad bhagavatam you have to hear under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav and that from the lotus mouth of pure rasik devotees that you have to just get established in shri nandi ashoda etc sant das vatsalya madhur ras we just need to get established in one of the ras and try to just uh, have to uh, do the shravan or roop gun madhurya of seva and you have to do the darshan and you have to with the tatva darshan we just need to follow the ras according to that and that will come with the actual realization for you that is the actual that actually is coming in shastra yukti and you just need to uh, realize yourself in the shastra yukti and according to that you need to do bhajan under the guidance of a particular brajwasi with a particular bhav and that kind of uh, automatically bhav is getting uh, you are tasting it under their guidance it it is actually spoken that just by doing sadhan slowly steadily that in rag parijay when it is getting transformed into raganuga bhakti at that stage 
that uh, kind of greediness you will get in by doing vinimaya of that uh, uh, rag bhajan in raganuga bhakti that is lob mula it means that in a place of greediness you can get and this kind of greediness this is very much rare to get that's why shila rup ko swami pad actually speaking that jato ruchi that which has uh, topmost ruchi inside their heart topmost ruchi has created inside it are manifested all automatically from the lotus mouth of guru shrimad bhagavatam we have to and shri padma puran automatically topmost shastra we have to hear and in this shastra that what is actually the topmost vishay we have to just have to hear from the rasik devotees from their mouth that all the kind of leelas etc about bhagwan has done transcendental leelas we have to hear that from the rasik devotees which is written in this rasamaya granth or shastra it is already there in this rasamaya shastra that what way this kind of whatever the kind of leela of rasmai devotees are given that that shant das is sakya madhurya that all kind of prajwasi according to that bhav we just need to hear that and whatever the roop gun leela madhurya etc krishnas is there all you have to just hear from the lotus mouth of pure guru vishnu when you will be just realizing that inside your heart that it means that when your heart is becoming there is some kind of realization coming inside your heart then the, at that time you are becoming a shastra yukt and a natural inclination will be there towards krishna that is and at that point according to that different different kind of bhav you will be just tasting it with krishna and that is the actual kind of uh, uh, actual kind of greediness or lobe that will uh, getting start in uh, inside your heart that is the actual symptom of greediness what it is told in vedya bhakti those who are adhikari people those who are eligible candidates or eligible persons in vedya bhakti those who are eligible candidates that if this kind of rati at it is uh, realized before uh, this vedya bhakti is already there inside them they are already there in vedya bhakti that oh, those who are vedya bhakti adhikari this kind of rati is automatically realized and manifested automatically inside their heart and uh, it logical in- argument is not at all there at all those who are and uh, just by uh, the avirbhav of that greediness uh, it is not required more if it actually get avirbhav inside the heart in, but uh, after that no expectation is there that is in rag bhakti in vedi bhakti those who are following vedi bhakti this rati can be uh, get manifested by the help of the shastras but after that what will happen that after the rati is avirbhav inside the heart he is actually just waited for that but in raganuga bhakti automatically naturally it is there rati is there automatically that greediness is there uh, in raganuga bhakti that's why that no shastri yukti is required at all but in that vishe that lobe is actually inside your heart in that in order to get that greediness that shastra nushilan and to get the uh, pravachan of pure guru vishnu we have to hear the instructions of shastra from pure guru vishnu it is very much important in the shastri yukti when you are in the vedi bhakti point it is very very important that's why kaviraj goswami ji speaking rag tishna rage swarup lakshan ishto vastu mein in ishto vastu ishte rag tishna rag that rag ragmay trishna in ishto vastu that ragmay trishna that is the actual swarup lakshan that avishtata that that is the tathast lakshan external lakshan ishte gaado that it is a more and more deep trishna and asakti towards that particular krishna vastu that kind of trishna in order to get the krishna vastu that topmost desire is there topmost greed is there that is to was to in order to get krishna prem that is the actual swarup lakshan of rag and that when you are uh, avished with that uh, particular object that avesh is coming then it is called prastala externally you are showing that characteristics of avesh so red rag atmik bhakti krishnadas ko viraj ko swami actually chatanya chitra mein he is writing this lobhe brujvasir bhave kare anugati lobh hone 
just by head getting greediness the brajwasis any brajwasis special brajwasi you have to do anugatya that anugaman you have to do in and that that if is not at all and anugati means anugaman anusaran is very much important not anukaran imitation is not at all there rup goswami pad has also written this point इट मीन्स दैट अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर प्रजवासी यू नीड टू गेट अभिव्यक्त दैट काइंड ऑफ मैनिफेस्टेशन दैट विद अभिव्यक्त मैनिफेस्टेड स्वरूप दैट रागवन का भक्ति इज ऑलरेडी देयर all the time permanently is there inside their heart and by that doing the anusaran of that bhakti under the guidance of a special brajwasi i have already told you must need to do the anukaman and the madhurya shravan of the special brajwasi that from inside the heart there is one kind of attraction you are feeling that is called raganuga bhakti that kind of eligibility to get raganuga bhakti and you are getting the eligibility to get to do raganuga bhakti that is the actual uh, mool karan just to get the actual greediness you just offer to uh, for uh, ragatmik bhakti shastri yukti is not at all required i have already discussed it previously as well about these points sadho the sadhak bhaiyo abhantar ihar duito sadhan bhaiye sadhak dehe kare shavan kirtan mane niyo siddho deho koriya bhavan ratri dine kare bhaje krishna seva जली do and with that swarup with that roop in the that situation you have to do seva and inside all the time internally that ragatmik swarup with the, all the time you just need to do seva non stop that is the actual uh, we have to do anusaran of the uh, special prajwasis under their guidance we have to do, do that kind of bhajan ragatmik bhajan that in kamanuga we just need to establish ourselves and by that kama a prakrit kama we need to attract that apra ap, aprakrit kama they all swarup manjari uh, sakhis etc they are under the guidance of them only we have to rup manjari rup goswami pad he swayam rup manjari but still that here actually it is written that uh, shrimati la, la shrimati radharani lalita vishakha under their guidance only under their they already have shown us the anugatya that what path we have to follow that in this body shila rup ko swami pad maybe he is gor nitya parshad and in rup manjri swarup ki uh, uh, radharani leela externally you can see that their anugatya that shri rup sanatan etc all they are actually bhagavat parikar that we have to do the anusaran of them and with full anusaran swarup we have to do the seva it means that lalita vishaka etc rup manjri what has done seva for them under their guidance only uh, what instructions they have given us to do bhajan we just need to follow the instruction that shrimati radharani lalita vishaka under the guidance the instructions of their anugatya how they have done rup manjri has given to us either rup manjri swayam rup ko swayam pad but still that krishna prashta shrimati radharani lalita vishaka rup manjri etc all what pathway we have they have shown us we have to do their anugatya what shri larup sanatan etc they are also bhagavat parshad of gorang and under their anusaran under their anugatya and anusaran we have to do the seva of krishna that is not at all anukaran we will have we are serving them then we have to do anusaran of them in our life that shila rup manjri name we are actually following it and we are actually liking that bhav very much that directly we will be doing the association of shila rup manjri that's why this instruction is there that we have to do the anugatya shila rup goswami pad sanatan goswami is lavang manjri if what to do 
in that so that's why it is written here that under the guidance of these mahajans goswami jan that they have instructed us that how to do or uh, uh, how to do radha govind madhur ras seva that under the anugatya only that uh, the, uh, the instructions given under their anugatya they are actually all gaur parshad there she la roop sanatan etc and uh, under the uh, to do the anusaran of this uh, bhagavat parikar we have to do seva that is our actual duty it means that uh, by getting this sadak body by body speech and mind how to do that seva for krishna it means that uh, in sadak in, in sadak body that uh, shila roop sanatan etc under the guidance of all the prajvasis that uh, inside our heart that topmost uh, uh, deha with uh, uh, manasi seva should be there it means what is it's written here that sadak deha when the sadak body that there they are, what what rup goswami pad has given us and sanatan goswami pad they are also prajvasi they are also prajvasi it means that in the sadak body in the sadak body that what kind of seva under the guidance of shila roop sanatan they are also prajvasis they are also prajvasis so under their anugatya we have to do the seva in the sadak body or when we are getting this sadak body we have to do the anugatya of shila roop sanatan etc we have to do the anugatya and we have to get that siddh deha and by that we have to uh, worship lalita vishaka roop manjari we have to do their anugatya they are also brajvasis we have to do their anugatya and do the radha govind leela seva so that kind of anusaran it is very much important to do for them no anukaran should be there imitation should not be there anukaran is very much important in this case anukaran is very much important like the case i'll give you one example that shila nasini vasacharya kanya he her wife simati hemlata shrimata hemlata thakurani silo sinivas acharya shila shrinivas acharya shila hemlata thakurani she is actual disciple ye baat bol ye jo hai sinivas this shila shina sinivas acharya and she is he hemlata thakurani this uh, that is the the that she already he already has just quit uh, himlata tukrani as a disciple her name is roop kaviraj in asad pradesh at udbhot mot ek bhayankar there is very dangerous uh, situation is created there there himlata tukrani has just uh, left shri shri ram shri nivas chare shri nivas tapur and in assam when she went there in asad pradesh that surma upatta there is there, there is one udhvat that is that dusra mat ko chala that is second mat she is actually running there what she is running there there that by taking the actual achare of shri guru pad band shri she is following ekadashi vrat tulsi seva shalgram seva and the gopikas will not do that we will also not do in this by rasamri sindhu also written lot of time before that that radha rani lalita vishakha etc for ekadashi it is not at all uh, required for them essential for them but shila rup goswami pa shila sanatan goswami pa these are prajvasis are there they actually etc have done ekadashi etc everything and they have done naam naam actually if radha rani will sit and do naam that is not at all uh, required for her so this kind of udvat just like a man he she has just made one rules and regulation in assam that lalita shakhi they don't have any kind of guru so we definitely we also don't want any kind of guru so that's why she guru badatresh ekadashi shargram seva etc that gopikas have not done and we also don't need to do that so like this by speaking this there is very dangerous situation and uh, automatic opposite uh, rules and regulations she has made upatka mein koi mot prachalit hua tha isliye chakravarti that's why chakravarti vishwana chakravarti pad she is actually he is speaking shorlam mamat shorlam mamat means what does it mean because they are actually foolish people 
they are actually going in the opposite direction they have just made opposite rules and regulations they if you are be speaking that brajwasis shila rup goswami shila sanatan goswami they are actually thinking them as they are they are actually thinking that that radha chandravali rupa manjari gun manjari they are actually all brajwasis they have actually this opposite vichar Brajwasi just by speaking that Shri uh, Radha Charan they won't accept. So lot of uh, things are there. That's why. Paramaradhya, our uh, our Prabhupada speaking that persons that externally those persons that that from ex. Externally, sadhak deh that uh, should Hari Katha Kirtan they are doing and they are doing seva inside their heart and they are doing that Krishna seva inside their heart that all the time they are with the Shuddha Swarup they are actually busy in doing Radha Krishna seva that people that they will be following the Shastra and Sashan the Rustic Tools and Regulations of Gurudev that Vedic Bhakti they will be following that and doing the anusaran and in return of vedi bhakti they will be uh, introducing their uh, natural raganuga bhakti just by slowly steadily going on to that pathway they are, will get that krishna bhakti raganuga mark is the actual pathway for getting rati and for raganuga mark in the raganuga pathway only rati bhav and prabhav krishna is getting attracted towards us and in other way krishna cannot get attracted to us that's why in that way that only krishna sevak we can get in our life otherwise it is not at all possible just by doing drama in name of krishna seva everything will get destroyed so lot of people having this kind of conception opposite they have opposite conception that in rag mark that Bhavichar Basra Ho jata hai Bhavichar is done in by following Rag Atmik Mark Lot of people having this kind of misconception That in in pathway of Rag Mark Basra It, uh, it is done but This is actually wrong conception totally This is totally wrong They are actually going according to their own uh, uh, Mental speculation whimsical mind and that's why they are getting this wrong uh, bhavana but in actual exactly what procedure is there that according to that pathway if we are going towards the rag mark that we are following that rag mark and will be moving forward then definitely their sadhi char vebhichar it, it cannot come in your pathway way like Prabhupada actually speaking that up till now in the south india up till now in south india very lot of persons and families i have met but i have seen that they are they are not at all accepting radha govind and gopikas that kind of prema is there that is not authentic they are speaking that is very much uh, heinous and very dirty okay lakshmi narayan is uh, seva is good sita ram seva, seva is good but this is not good radha govind seva is not good no 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 it is not at all uh, good it is senseless they are speaking so this kind of wrong conception they are building inside their heart so it is not like that at all the first thing is that the first thing is that that without greediness that internal attraction and love that without greediness to get that greediness you cannot get the actual eligibility to do rag bhajan you are not at all getting the eligibility to do rag bhajan that thing i have mahaprabhu have already told about this so when uh, without getting the greediness it means that that without any kind of greedy greediness bhav towards a particular objective is autumn by a forceful attitude we are going on to this rag mark then it is not at all possible they sahajiyas people they are actually speaking that you can get the adhikar automatically but it's not like that what to speak of them they are all speaking wrong concept 
बट इन द मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ दिस लोभा भगवान श्री कृष्ण दैट काइंड ऑफ विशुद्ध भक्ति इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट टू गेट एंड इन द पैथ वे ऑफ मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ आर ग्रीडीनेस दैट लोभ वॉट इज देयर एज ऑलरेडी इंट्रोड्यूस इन साइड अर हार्ट दैट इन श्री भगवान दैट काइंड ऑफ विशुद्ध प्रीति इन दैट पैथ वे ओनली दैट एक्चुअल पैथ वे इज दैट इज कॉल्ड विधि एंड विधि एंड निषेध वी जस्ट नीड टू फॉलो एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट वॉट इज एक्चुअली अनुसरण इन द पैथ वे ऑफ विधि मार्ग एंड वॉट नॉट टू टेक इन द विधि मार्ग अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट ऑटोमेटिकली स्लोली स्टेडली ऑटोमेटिकली विल गेट गेट एस्टेब्लिश इन राग मार्ग दैट काइंड ऑफ एट द टाइम ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग द ग्रीडीनेस अट्रैक्शन टूवर्ड्स कृष्ण दैट इज द ओनली पैथ वे टू गेट आउट ऑफ दिस विद भक्ति एंड टू गेट एस्टेब्लिश इन राग मार्ग दैट काइंड ऑफ विचार इफ यू आर हैविंग इन विधि मार्ग दोज वॉट डूइंग अनुसरण वॉट इज वॉट टू डू वॉट नॉट टू डू अल्टीमेटली दे विल जस्ट गेट ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड वंस वन डे एंड देन यू कैन गेट एस्टेब्लिश इन राग मार्ग ऑटोमेटिकली यू विल गेट एस्टेब्लिश इन राग मार्ग forcefully that by following this vidhi mark without any will and forcefully when you are following the vidhi bhakti and and you are just have the want to uh, forcefully realize rag mark it is not at all good automatic it's an automatic process naturally you will get attracted and inclined towards rag mark just by following the vidhi mark according to pure guru vaishnav automatically it is just get followed and your heart is that body speech and mind with full capacity that continuously you are actually doing the krishna anushilan or it actually get started by body speech and mind everything you just use and shri naam bhajan whether shastra adi shravan kirtan by that in that that kind of aruchi cannot come it means that in naam bhajan और शास्त्र प्रवचन हरिकथा भागवत एटसेट्रा इन श्रवन ऑफ दैट नेवर दैट काइंड ऑफ ड्राउजी एटीट्यूड विल नॉट कम स्लीपी एटीट्यूड विल नॉट कम इट मीन्स डेफिनेटली देयर देयर एटिकेसी इज गुड दैट्स वाई इन चितान्य चिता इट इज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न अबाउट दिस पॉइंट वॉट इज दैट in this in this each and every uh, secret treasure is given points are given there guru bhagwan ji guru krishna prasad pai bhakti lata bich mali hoya se bich kare arupan shavan kirtan jale kare se cha upajiya bali lata brahmand vedi jaye viraja brahma log vedi par brahma pai tabe jaye tadupuri golok brindavan कृष्ण चरण कल्प विक्षे करे फले प्रेम फल so this krishna lata is actually kalpa vriksh they have actually taken the krishna charan in on to their heart at, at that place phale prem phal iha mali seche nitto shavan kirtana di jo it means that by shravan kirtan that water if you will be pouring out on to your uh, Uh, bhakti seed it should not get stopped it should be non stop so that's why sand in sadhan ka sadhya condition that kind of uh, that kind of uh, watering giving to the seed of bhakti it is very much important that now we are thinking that we will be stopping kirtan which already it is being uh, uh, our seed is getting matured it's not like that so that kind of shravan kirtan by that water you just need to put water onto the seed of bhakti so that it can get nourished that's why if shravan kirtan etc like water is going inside the heart and under you are actually just going over guru anugatya and just doing some vaishnav or naam aparad then if aparad is not at all there then definitely it will get nurtured and maturity will come and there is no kind of barrier in that so that's why इन साध्य कंडीशन श्रवण कीर्तन दैट काइंड ऑफ वाटर वाटर गिविंग इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट्स वाई दैट्स वाई देर इज एक्चुअली नो पॉइंट ऑफ गेटिंग गैपिंग देर इज नो काइंड ऑफ गैपिंग विल बी देयर 
in that and the second point is that that under guru anugatya that shravan kirtan etc and the second point is that under guru anugatya that shravan kirtan etc just by removing that and just by uh, doing leela smana at that time that different different kind of uh, difficulties and problems will come in front of you and will just uh, deviate from you from the actual pathway that's why prabhu pal speaking in front of us and care cautioning us uh, that to be careful and in vashan of ke also prabhu pal writing kitana prabhave vipapaji ne likha prabhu pal is written this prabhave smarana hoibe shekale bhajan By the actual prabhav of kirtan smaran is possible. At that time, nirjan bhajan automatically is possible. Before that, it is not at all possible. That's why under guru anugatya shravan kirtan etc. If you are just leaving that under guru anugatya, that if you are just leaving shravan kirtan etc. This kind of vishe you are leaving, and automatically your own pathway you are following the lila smaran pathway. that different different kind of difficulties and problems will uh, come in the way of yours uh, your uh, bhakti and definitely you gonna lose each and everything you are you will be feeling that you will be victorious but you will be lo- be a loser that's why mahaprabhu ji speaking that's why shriman mahaprabhu ji speaking in sri rup shiksha in the in the actual instruction of shri rup shiksha at alahabad ro he is actually just uh, giving uh, lessons to rupa swami pad if jodi bhajan karte karte he just by doing bhajan slowly steadily that vaishnava prad is just getting up at that time at that time he he will just get eradicated ताते माली क्या क्या बताया व्हाट व्हाट इट इट अपराध होते इसके इससे होता है तोड़ जाता है एवरीथिंग इज गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड एवरीथिंग भक्ति बता लीजिए इज गेट डिस्ट्रॉयड टोटली एंड इन दैट दैट्स व्हाई व्हाट विल हैपन दैट द गार्डनर व्हाट ही विल डू That's why bhakti lata beach, the bhakti lata seat, that when it is getting uh, slowly slowly nurtured, we just need to be careful so that in each and every stage, uh, this no kind of a prayer should be done from all the four direction. There is one should be one kind of boundary should be there. It is very much important to give boundary. Why? avaran why it is speaking like that why you are giving boundary to a special boundary wall so that every flower or vegetable seed it should to get protected from any kind of cattle or some cow or any bear or elephant nobody can come and just destroy this seed and should not destroy it so that's why guru vaishnav aparad That's why. That the title called aparad will definitely gonna destroy everything. Just like a mad elephant destroys everything in the same manner, everything will get destroyed like a mad. That's why to get a boundary is very much direct important. What is this boundary? This boundary is strict regulations. That in Vidhi Mark. what actually is there to just save us each and every rules and regulation these are actually boundaries you understand what i'm speaking so before only that you are like sahajyas you are becoming sahaj uh, gopi then definitely there will be lot of danger each and every stage you are having danger so this boundary is there this avaran this boundary this is the actual anushasan strict rules and regulations uh, what guru vishnu were following according to the vidhi mark according to the guru vishnu we have to follow that strict rules and regulations of vidhi mark by so that uh, that title called aparad that kind of elephant which will uh, definitely gonna don't come in this boundary of wall by to destroy our bhakti beach but still elephant and cattle cow nothing will come but still if this kind of uh, bhakti lata beach in this 
then one kind of uh, extra branch you have already seen when you are actually bowing some crop bowing some seed of crop particular crop or flower then automatically when it is going to some extent it, when it's increasing automatically if sub branches are coming they are actually cutting it and they are just throwing it separately so that kind of actual uh, branch which need to grow it will not at all grow because inside the ground all the other sub branches will uh, definitely gonna take all the nutrition and it will not be going to the actual branch so that's why in between we just need to go to the field and just need to cut those sub branches so that the actual nutrition could go to the main root so all that all kind of unwanted elements can get removed and go away that's why shila krishna das kaviraj was my path speaking that rupa was my path that the actual instruction of rupa was my path instruction only krishna das kaviraj was swami in jab dar chatan jaram he speaking this point so those who are upadeva chinde jaye chuki jaye pa tarpar ke mali jatn kari kare avaron अपराध हस्तिर जय छे नहय दुख किंतु यदि लतार संगे उठे उपशाखा लता का साथ उपशाखा इफ फ्रॉम द मेन ब्रांच द सब ब्रांचेस आर कमिंग आउट इफ इट गेटिंग स्टार्टेड टू कम आउट इट व्हाट डज इट मीन उपशाखा मींस दैट सब ब्रांचेस दैट फ्रॉम द मूल भक्ति ब्रांच दैट अदर काइंड ऑफ भक्ति मुक्ति सिद्धि everything you are uh, actually uh, uh, wanting different kind of desires it will come in the progress of your bhakti and it will stop the actual progress of your bhakti that's why it is called but जस्ट बाय गिविंग वाटर टू दैट सीड दैट ऑल द टाइम वी आर गिविंग वाटर टू दैट बाय दैट दैट जस्ट बाय गेटिंग दैट वाटर फ्रॉम ऑटोमेटिकली दैट ब्रांच विल गो विल सब ब्रांच विल जस्ट एक्सटेंड and the main branch sub will just stop uh, getting nurtured so that's why like bhakti lata is there that is in order to just understand we give us the understanding we have just told this bhakti mukti shiddhi vancha jato asankha tar le nishiddha cha nishiddha cha kutinati jeev hingsa la puja pratishtani jato uposaka gon that by water by just giving water you are actually giving by that it can just get increased those sub branches and the main branch of bhakti will not get nurtured at all sub branches will get nurtured for each and every sadhak it is actual duty that before only you just need to cut the sub branches away cut it and throw it away that you just need to cut those sub branches then only the main branch can uh, get nutrition and can uh, get mature in the coming uh, in the coming time lata avalambi mali kalpo vikha pai taha se hi kalpo vikhe taha se hi kalpo vikhe kore se cha sukhe prem pal ras kare ashada so all these points slowly steadily it is already just mentioned here that abhidai tatva that kind of instruction which we are given to us shriman mahaprabhu has especially this kind of abhidai tatva the actual instructions he has given us that is repeatedly we just need to maybe it is very difficult to understand this but still we are actually just uh, Uh, under the guidance of guru vishnu want to understand that so in order to get the actual understanding of this point is very much difficult so what the shri mahal mahaprabhu has just told the actual instructions of the vidya tatva that kind of topmost instruction with full intention you just need to do the anushilan of uh, that inside your heart all the time vicharanam parabhakta imuchchatna isme 
in that it can be possible otherwise it is very much impossible to just discuss in one day it is a very typical vishay so we'll be discussing it in the coming uh, hari katha now i'll be just giving uh, uh, i will not be uh, going ahead and be just uh, giving rest up till today and the last shlok the the i i have already started with इट मीन्स दैट कवि द पोइट कुलशेखर स्पीकिंग इन मुकुंद माला स्त्रोत्र हे कृष्ण दैट दिस इज माई एक्चुअल प्लेयर दैट माई हार्ट दैट माई हार्ट दैट रहे राज हंस that on your lotus feet that your lotus feet i am i just want to just get bath into that jump into that lotus feet of ocean of lotus feet and i should just i couldn't get out of that ocean of lotus feet that my heart this kind of hunts it is just this is actually your lotus feet ocean of lotus feet is there it should just get round in that and should not come at come out back from there and it should just get mix in that it should not get out otherwise you can see so if it is not at all possible then at our last time when our last time will come in that what will at what time at what time this uh, it will it is giving me lot of pain and i don't have any kind of support to just live life now in this body so how i should just uh, do your smaran how i should remember you concentrate on you why because that how i can just remember you how to do your bhajan because it lot of problems uh, are there in my body and around me so what to do in this so whatever is the case up till this point i'll be just giving uh, rest vaanchak kal pratharvashi ke paas se mein patitanand pavane bho vishnu kyun namo